Last week's mass shooting in Oregon, a lot of us can't help but wonder about the safety of our schools and whether it's best to shelter in place or to run. So how prepared are we here in Massachusetts if there is a shift in that protocol? Our Beth Germano has the story all new at 5.30. Officer Rachel Mead is now patrolling the halls in the Groton School District, and students have noticed. The first couple of days, they were like, why are you here? Because <laughs> um, it was new. Since school started this year, she's a constant presence, as the district has beefed up its options in responding to a new vocabulary, active shooter. You want to give power to um, the people in the classrooms. Tragic mass shootings from Columbine to Sandy Hook to last week in Oregon have schools rethinking how they'll respond to an armed intruder. It's a departure from the traditional school lockdown, which is keeping the kids in the classroom and simply locking the door. We've really taught our kids, you know, it's okay to, to evacuate and run and hide in the woods and, and things like that. So if God forbid something happens, they would know what to do. There's better marking of locations around the school should running become an option. This video shows how drills have been carried out at other school districts under a program called ALICE. Alert, lockdown, inform, counter, evacuate. It's not just sitting there and waiting. It's reacting. It's listening to what's going on. Some parents believe it makes the students less afraid. I think it does make the kids feel a little more comfortable if they feel they have a plan, they feel the teacher know what to do. And in a small town, they are prepared just in case. In Groton, Beth Germano, WBZ News.